Hey guys, how are you all? My name is Harshid Vedi friends and I welcome you back to my video. So in this video friends, in a very short amount of time, I am going to talk about the ecological depth and carrying capacity of an ecosystem. See friends, carrying capacity up to a limit I have talked in my previous video or the limiting factors of an ecosystem. I am also going to talk to about, you know, talk to you about this carrying capacity a little bit more in this video. Also, when I talk about ecological depth, so nowadays ecological Depth is having a lot of connotations. So I am going to discuss almost all the connotations of this ecological depth. But I will tell you the most important thing about ecological depth which relates itself to the environment. So all of these aspects will be detailed by me friends in this video. So this is presented by me Harshid Devedi friends if you want to follow me. The link of my Instagram profile is given in the description box below. Also this video is in English friends if you want to watch the Hindi version of the video. The link of that is also given below. So the very first thing we need to understand what this ecological depth means. So first of all, have a look at the definition of this ecological depth. It refers to the consumption of resources from within an ecosystem that exceeds the system's regenerative capacity. This is the overall depletion of the global resources beyond the Earth's ability to regenerate them. The term is closely related to carrying capacity. So it is talking about world environment as a whole, but I'm going to explain it to you in a smaller ecosystem unit. For example, say there is an ecosystem E. Okay, now this ecosystem is capable of regenerating 1000 units of energy in a year. This is one scenario I have taken. Now, if the amount of species and all the things which are associated with this ecosystem, suppose that in one year they are consuming 1100 units of energy. Now, what is happening? You can see that this ecosystem, the amount of energy units that is consumed from this ecosystem in one year are 1100 and how much units of energy this ecosystem is capable to, capable of regenerating is 1000 units so you can see this 100 units of energy is over consumed here so basically what will be the ecological depth here this 100 units of energy will be the ecology depth because this is that amount of units of energy which are consumed extra so this becomes the ecological depth this becomes the debt. That means this is that much amount of units of energy which we as humankind are going to pay to the ecosystem. Because if we are consuming 1100 in units and if the environment is capable of regenerating only 1000 units, so we have to, you can say, adjust our requirements to the regenerative capacity of the ecosystem. And if we are consuming extra from the regenerative capacity of the ecosystem, that means we have to pay back that extra to the ecosystem. And here we have to pay these 100 units back to the ecosystem. So this 100 units denotes the ecological depth of our ecosystem. Okay friends, and this ecological depth is very closely related to carrying capacity also. This carrying capacity I already talked to you in the population limiting factor video. Now here I am going to talk to you about it again. Now what is this carrying capacity? Just have a look at the definition of this carrying capacity. The carrying capacity of a biological species in an environment is the maximum population size of the species that the environment can sustain indefinitely given the food, habitat, water and other necessities available in the environment. What seems this friends that for example in an ecosystem or in an environment the maximum amount of individuals of a species that an environment can sustain is say 1000 individuals. Now if that species is having more than 1000 individuals suppose it is having 1100 individuals. So obviously these extra 100 individuals are consuming from the same environment. But what carrying capacity says that sustainably this environment can create resources for only 1000 individuals. So these extra individuals are consuming more and it is deteriorating the regenerative capacity of the environment. So this is basically carrying capacity. Carrying capacity refers to that amount of individual of a biological species that can sustainably coexist with the environment. And what does sustainably mean? Sustainably means that they can coexist exist in the environment, fulfilling their all needs without causing any amount of damage to the environment. And if the carrying capacity is exceeded, then obviously there is some amount of damage to the environment and that damage is obviously manipulated and it's obviously accounted for because then some amount of automatic limiting factors are introduced by the environment for example diseases and, and things like that and obviously the rate of growth of that particular species will become slow and will ultimately stop that is it is expected that when this carrying capacity is overshooted then the birth rate will become equals to the death rate 
सो बेसिकली दिस कैरिंग कैपेसिटी इज द मैक्सिमम लोड दैट एन एनवायरमेंट और इकोसिस्टम कैन सस्टेन सस्टेनेबली सो दिस इज बेसिकली कैरिंग कैपेसिटी फ्रेंड्स दैट वाज इकोलॉजिकल डेप्थ नाउ देयर इज वन मोर कोनोटेशन ऑफ दिस इकोलॉजिकल डेप्थ व्हाट इज दिस सी फ्रेंड्स व्हाट इज हैपनिंग दैट द इकोनॉमिक प्रोग्रेस ऑफ डिफरेंट कंट्रीज ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड हैज नॉट बीन यूनिफॉर्म सम कंट्रीज डेवलप्ड अ लॉट and they developed at the expense of other countries for example the colonial countries that perpetrated colonialism all around the world they were england germany france spain countries like this so they were developed initially and they were responsible for spreading colonialism all around the world for a long amount of time for example if we talk about industrial revolution so industrial revolution has started in england in 1750 so at that point of time the industries of england were guzzling smoke outside their industries this industrialization this industrial revolution started in india in 1950 after it became independent in 1947 and this is the case with other southeast asian countries asian countries african countries who became free after very there were many countries who became free even after india so in those cases friends what you will see that these countries like the england usa germany france they had taken the historical advantages of development and they have caused a lot of damage to the environment the industrial revolution in this countries has thrown a lot of smoke out in the environment and that is why you will see that england us germany france countries like this have the tag of developed countries of the world and in this developing phase they have caused a whole lot of damage to this environment so here ecological depth means the amount of debt which these wealthier countries will have to pay to the poorer countries for destroying the environment in which the people of both the wealthier and the poorer countries are living obviously whatever damage to the environment is done by these developed countries it is affecting the population of a developing country also or not undeveloped country also or a poor country also so this ecological debt is that amount of debt which these wealthier countries and the developed countries have to give to the poor country so this is one more connotation so basically there are many aspect by many different scholars this is basically the ecological damage which is done by a country to some other country because damage to the environment and ecology doesn't see national boundaries if you are guzzling out smoke and greenhouse gases in one country they will obviously find their way into the other countries and harm other countries also cause diseases to other countries also because other countries are not having that much amount of developed health system which the developed countries are having okay friends so this is the whole logic behind this thing so this is one more connotation of ecological depth so this is one connotation of ecological depth the real connotation of ecological depth i have already told you that is spending much above the regenerative capacity so this is the whole details about this thing friends carrying capacity ecological depth and different connotations of ecological depth i have told you just remember the environmental aspect of that ecological depth that i told you initially at the start of this video so thank you for watching this video friends i hope this video was liked by you goodbye keep studying